After multiple trials throughout North America, Puma Football sent 16 youth players on a once-in-a-lifetime trip to Italy, training with Italian national team coaches, meeting some of the world's best players, and playing against one of Europe's top youth academies makes for a soccer experience they'll never forget. My name is Cole Sigo. I'm from Upland, California. Giampiero Sansonetti. I am from Toronto. My name is Mehdi. I'm from Ottawa. My name is Luca Raginen, and uh, I'm from Toronto. So we're at the airport, about to head to Italy. First stop is Bari, Italy versus France in a friendly. The whole crew is ready. We'll see you guys there. First leg of the trip down, we're in Amsterdam. We got most of the crew here. Got a little layover before Italy. Boarding the second flight now, heading to Bari. Let us know what players you want to see tonight. Maybe we might get the chance to meet them. See you guys soon. We made it to Italy. It's not bad. We've got a few minutes of downtime before we head over to Italy, France, in Bari. It's going to be amazing, so make sure you stay tuned here. Like, like full France versus full Italy, France wins, but. It should be a good game though, you know. Obviously, we know who we're rooting for. Uh, I think it's gonna be 2 1 Italy. All right, I think the score is gonna be 1 1. 0 0. Alright, I think Italy's gonna go for the win. 2 0. I think it's gonna be 2 0. Yeah, France. I'm feeling a 1 0 win for Italy. I think Italy's gonna get that 2 1 victory. Okay. A nice 5 0 win for Italy. 2 1 victory for Italy. It's gonna be 2 1 Italy. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually been a pretty fun day today. Heading into the stadium for Italy versus France, people thought that we were the Italian national team, so that was pretty cool. Signed a few autographs as somebody who I'm not. But the game's actually been pretty good too. Both teams have been playing pretty well and they put their best squads out, which is unusual for a friendly match. My boy Giroud scored from Arsenal, of course, on a first, on a one-time finish. I'm, I'm assuming most of these guys are seeing these two teams play for the first time live take some of these moments, these special moments and special world-class moments and apply that to their training and then the game that we get to see in a couple days. Watching the France Italy game was great. On the TV, it looks very close together. But like when you when you go out to watch it on the field, it's like wow, you know, like these guys are just moving quickly. They're they're all bunched up, but they, they move and they get away from each other. You know, they look way faster in person than on TV, honestly. And just like their touch is amazing. It's so consistent too. They're not afraid to put their bodies on the line to do this. They give it all they have on the field, and they're not they're willing to not hold back. It's much better in the stadium watching them because you get to follow specific players, watch their movements, see what you want to copy. Um, while on television, your eyes follow the ball a lot, so you don't stay as focused. Well, I've never seen either national team play in person, so being able to see them in person play in Italy was like the coolest thing. And then not only that, we got to take pictures with a few of them, shake their hands afterwards. So. That was cool. I know that I'm probably not going to be able to do that again, so it's a great experience. Um, I got to take pictures with Matuidi, Garassi, and it was really great. And I got autographs from Donnarumma on his international debut, and uh, Rugani and Mandanda. I got a few autographs from Italy players and saw French players. I mean, it's a privilege. This is once in a lifetime, so that's, it, it's a great opportunity. I'm super stoked. So day one is in the books. Stay tuned for day two when we head to Cuverciano, the training facility of the Italian national team.